We have one slot left in the semifinals, which means only one of today's teams will move on for the chance for $1,000. In today's match, we have the Warriors of Wells High School. Taking on the Rams of Coney High School. That's next on High School Quiz Show Maine. Production support for High School Quiz Show Maine is provided by Energy is about more than just keeping the lights on. It's about living life as parents, friends, and teammates. Unitil is proud to support High School Quiz Show Maine. Unitil, more than a utility part of your community. Safety Insurance is committed to environmental sustainability and supports many local charities. You can ask an independent agent about auto, home, and business coverage from Safety Insurance. Safety Insurance will help you manage life's storms. And by viewers like you. Thank you. Welcome to High School Quiz Show, Maine. I'm Todd Guttner. There's just one spot left in the semifinals as we move closer to the championship and the $1,000 prize. We have two veteran teams who haven't made it the, to the championship yet, but hope that this is their year to wear the crown. The Warriors of Wells High School made it here by defeating Noble of North Berwick, and they'll take on the Rams of Coney High School in Augusta, who won their match against Falmouth High School. Let's get things going by meeting the team. For Wells, we have Grady, William, Indy, and Sam, with alternates John and Mason, and coached by Ann Beechin. And for Coney, we have Ted, Saber, Isaac, and Sam, with alternate B and Claire, and coached by Stephen Scoville. Now the competition has three rounds, the toss-up round, the category round, and that fun lightning round. We'll start with the toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for wrong answers. Players must wait for me to complete the question, and if one team answers incorrectly, the other team will be given a chance to answer. All right, teams, Coney, Wells, good luck to both of you. We're getting off and running here with the first question. Portland is the seat of which county that is the most populous county in Maine? Isaac, Coney. Cumberland County. Cumberland County is right. By definition, an equestrian sport involves the participation of what four-legged animal? Grady Wells. Horse. Horse is also right. To raise money for anti-censorship causes, in 2022, author Margaret Atwood auctioned an unburnable copy of what dystopian novel? <laughs> Sam Wells. The Handmaid's Tale. The Handmaid's Tale is right. An Inuit word for man's boat or boat made from skins gives us the name of what watercraft that's usually propelled by one person using a double-bladed paddle? <laughs> Isaac Coney. Canoe. Uh, that's incorrect. Wells, take a shot. Go for it, Indy. Kayak. Kayak is the correct answer. Next, we have a picture question. Please look at the monitor right there. The question is, name this waterfall on the Zambezi River in southern Africa that provides habitat to several unique species and is one of the world's largest waterfalls with a width of 5,604 feet. William Wells. Victoria. Victoria is correct. Victoria Falls, yep. The word genotype refers to genetic traits passed to an organism from its parents. What similar word refers to the observable characteristics of that organism? Indy Wells. Phenotype. Phenotype is also right. In 1519, what explorer began an expedition to sail around the world? One of his ships eventually made the whole journey, but he died along the way. William Wells. Ferdinand Magellan. Magellan is correct. In French, it's June. In Spanish, it's Amarillo. What's the English name for this color? Sam. Yellow. Yellow is right. A 1939 alliance signed by Adolf Hitler and Benito Mussolini is known as the Pact of what? Sam Coney. Steel. Steel is right. Up next, we have a video question. Once again, the monitor's right there. Hi. My name's Don Jalbert, and I'm the librarian at the Raymond Geiger Elementary School in Lewiston. In the children's books, written and illustrated by Norman Bridwell, what is the name of the 25-foot-tall red dog featured as the main character of each story? 
Uh, Isaac, Coney. Clifford. Clifford, of course, yeah, Clifford the Red Dog. In robotics, what two-word term refers to the boundary of space in which a robot is able to perform operations or tasks? Work envelope is the answer. A 2011 sci-fi novel by Andy Weir tells the story of Mark Watney, an astronaut left behind on a fictional NASA mission to what planet? Ted Coney. Mars. Mars is right. Next question. What mysterious British contemporary artist painted devolved parliament, depicting the House of Commons populated by chimpanzees? Ted Coney. Banksy. Banksy is right. Uh, of these South American capital cities, which is farthest south? Brasilia, Brazil, Santiago, Chile, or Bogota, Colombia? Uh, we'll go over to Wells, William. Santiago. Santiago is right. All right, any non-zero number raised to the zero power always equals what? Ted Coney. One. One is correct. In 2022, the Bac Long Bridge in Vietnam set a Guinness World Record as the longest bridge with a surface made from what material? Isaac Coney. Bamboo. Uh, bamboo is incorrect. Wells, you have a chance. William got in. Steel. Uh, also incorrect. Glass is the right answer. Located at 60.56 degrees north latitude, Mount Logan in the St. Elias Mountains is the highest peak in which country? William Wells. Canada. Yes, Canada's right. What six-letter word from the Greek for arrange together refers to the manner in which words are placed in order to form a sentence? William Wells again. Syntax. You got it right again. The Long Walk, which took place mainly in 1864, was a campaign to, campaign to force what indigenous American people out of their homeland in northern Arizona and New Mexico? Indy Wells. Apache? Uh, incorrect. Coney. Go ahead, Isaac. Navajo. That's correct. Here's our next question. In the animated film The Emperor's New Groove, Emperor Cusco is turned into what kind of South American mammal? William Wells. A llama. Llama is right. Who is most likely to engage in collective bargaining? Buyers at an art auction, investors in the stock market, or members of a labor union? Go ahead, Ted. Members of a labor union. You got it right. Here's our next question. Joy Harjo, Natasha Trethaway, and Gwendolyn Brooks are among people who have been appointed by the Librarian of Congress to what position? <coughs> Poet Laureate is the answer. In the TV series Yellow Jackets, Shauna, Thaisa, Nat, and Jackie are high school athletes competing in what sport? <coughs> Go ahead, Grady. Uh, softball. Uh, softball's incorrect. Coney? You want to take a shot? Go ahead, Saber. Cheerleading? Uh, incorrect. It's soccer is the right answer. Thomas Cole, Frederick Church, and Asher Durand were 19th century painters known for their landscapes of the area around what river in New York State? Saber? Hudson. Hudson is right. All right, we've got a math question. you got your pencils there. Get them ready. 330 students graduated from fictional high school in 2021 and 420 students graduated from the same school in 2022. Rounded to the nearest whole number, what was the percentage increase in graduates from fictional high school between 2021 and 2022? <laughs> William Wells. 30. That is incorrect. Go ahead, Coney, if you want. Point two seven or 27 percent is the answer. All right, sounds like some of you were close. Currently serving 46 states, the District of Columbia, and three Canadian provinces, the National Railroad Passenger Corporation is better known by what six-letter name? <coughs> Saber, Coney. Amtrak. Amtrak is right. After 20 years in space, what space probe exhausted its fuel and made a planned dive into Saturn's atmosphere in September 2017? Cassini, Cassini. Bono, The Edge, Adam Clayton, and Larry Mullen Jr. are members of what Irish rock band? Go ahead, William. You too. You too, you nailed it. In Chinese folklore, what animal lives on the moon and grinds herbs for medicine? 
Uh, someone got in. Saber, go ahead. Fuck. Uh, that's incorrect. Wells? Uh, rabbit is the answer. Rabbit. What general commanded the Union's Army of the Potomac that defeated Robert E. Lee at the Battle of Gettysburg in 1863? William Wells. Ulysses Grant. Um, incorrect. Go over to Coney. Ted? Medford. George G. Meade. Meade is the answer. The Pro Football Hall of Fame is located in what Ohio city where the American Professional Football Association was founded in 1920? Sam Coney. Canton. Canton is correct. Breakfast at Tiffany's and In Cold Blood are works by what 20th century American author? Ted Coney. Truman Capote. Yes, you got it. Ooh, just in time, too, it seems. All right. Oh, we got a great match here. We've got a tie. Wells 120, Coney 120. Great start to our quarterfinal rounds. We'll be back to meet the players right after this. We're back, and we've got a tied match. But before we head to the category round, we like to pause and get to know our players with a silly question. What mashup of two movies would you like to see, and what would you call it? We'll begin over here. Wells, go ahead, Grady. So my movie's called Beetlejuice, and it's Michael Keaton on the Yellow Submarine. <laughs> he did do a movie, Beetlejuice. Yeah, fair yep, enough. Yeah. Yep, he did? Yep, he did, and it's, what, it's a classic. It's, it's a, a great, great movie. Great movie. All right, William? I think I got to go with a mashup of Star Wars and Avengers, you know? Oh. So you get like hmm. this... Yeah. huge universe now of just oh, infinite yeah. options. It goes on forever, forever. like, you know, for infinity and beyond. Yes. Right? I like it, William. I like where you're going. Indy. All right, uh, probably a mix of Goonies and National Treasure. I'd call it oh. Treasure Hunters. Oh, that's beautiful. So Goonies is probably in my top five. It's one of my all-time favorites because I kind of grew up with it. Great choice, Indy. Go ahead, Sam. Uh, I'm going to do Jurassic Park, and I know it's not a movie, but Parks and Rec. Oh. I'm going to do Jurassic Parks and Rec. Jurassic Park and Rec. Parks and Rec, one of my faves. Jurassic Park, great movie too. All right, uh, Coney, go ahead, Ted. What do you got? I'm going to have to do a mix of Star Wars and Halloween, and oh. it'll be called uh, Tatooine Lightsaber Incident. <laughs> yeah, and it's going to end with lots of blood and guts. You, yep. know, you know Michael Myers is going to win in the end. He's got yep. to. Yep. Um, go ahead, Saber. Uh, I'm thinking Die Hard and A Christmas Carol yes. to solidify it as a Christmas movie. Thank you, Saber, because it is a Christmas movie. It is. Die Sorry Hard is a Christmas movie. we got to get that going. Um, Isaac, Coney. I'm going to have to say Rambo and Home Alone, oh, and I'm going to call Rambo. it Rambo Last Christmas. Oh, <laughs> Sylvester Stallone would mess things up, wouldn't he? Oh, Especially that, that with would be uh, awesome. Macaulay Culkin in the scene. Yes, yes, this would be excellent. we got to make that happen. All right, Sam, wrap this up for us. Saving Private Ryan and Jaws. Oh, what's they're, it called? Saving Private Jaws. Okay. There, there's a shark <laughs> working in the U.S. Army for some reason. Yeah, well, that would be some sort of you know mass weapon of destruction, right? <laughs> for sure. All right, that was fun. Thanks, Wells and Coney. The category round is next, but let's see how well you do with our viewer question of the week. Hi, I'm Alec Omero from Unitil, and this is your main question of the week. Which American city is named for a main city as the result of a coin toss? Is it Presque Isle, Wisconsin, Rumford, Rhode Island, or Portland, Oregon? We'll have the answer later in the show. Welcome back. Next up is the category round with the following choices. Into the Woods, Once Upon a Mattress, Oklahoma, Rock of Ages, They're Playing Our Song, and Be More Chill. Questions have increasing point values and wrong answers will cost you. Each team will alternate control of two categories. With each question, they can choose to answer it, they can skip it if they don't want to take a chance on a wrong answer, or once per category, they can toss it over to the other team and force them to answer. Players will have five seconds to confer and decide what to do. Now they're tied. Backstage, they flip the coin. Coney won. They're going first. You select your first category. Into the woods, please. Into the woods for 10. These are questions about forests. What forest in Nottinghamshire where Robin Hood spent his time, used to cover 100,000 acres. Now it's about 1,000 acres. Sherwood. Sherwood. Sherrywood. One more time. Sherrywood. Uh, that's, 
that's incorrect. It's, it's Sherwood, Sherwood Forest. Into the woods for 15. The Sagano Forest near Kyoto, Japan is a forest of what giant fast-growing plant that is the largest member of the grass family? Bamboo. Bamboo. Bamboo is right. Uh, into the woods for 20. Flavored with chocolate and sour cherries, Black Forest Gateau takes its name from the Black Forest region of what European country? Germany. Germany. Germany is also right. On to 25 into the woods. Starting in the 1600s, the bark of chinchina trees in the rainforest of Peru was harvested to make quinine for the treatment of what tropical disease? Toss. Uh, toss. You want to toss over to Wells here, correct? Okay, Wells, I'll read it one more time, then I'll need your answer. Starting in the six. 1600s, the bark of cinchona trees in the rainforest of Peru was harvested to make quinine for the treatment of what tropical disease? Uh, scurvy? Scurvy's incorrect. It's malaria. Malaria is the right answer. We're back to Coney. We're continuing the category. It's the last question into the woods. The only population of Asiatic lions left in the wild lives in the Gur forest in the state of Gujarat in what country? India. Skip. You want to skip this? The answer is India. India is the answer. Okay, we're over to Wells now. You select your first category, please. Uh, let's go Rock of Ages, please. Rock of Ages it will be. These are questions about geology. Geology. The Rock of Gibraltar is a natural formation of what type of sedimentary rock composed mainly of calcium carbonate mi minerals? Any idea? Uh, let's skip that, please. Let's skip. It's limestone. 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 The Giant's Causeway in Northern Ireland is a natural formation of what type of volcanic rock that sometimes forms geometric columns when it cools? Oh, uh, basalt. Basalt is the right answer. Rock of Ages for 20. The oldest known rocks on Earth date back more than 4 billion years to what super hot pre Achaean eon that geologists named for the Greek god of the underworld? Uh, Hadrian? Uh, that's incorrect. Hadean is the right answer. Hadean. Rock of Ages 25. Bryce Canyon National Park is known for having a large number of tall, spiky rock formations known by what rhyming name? Uh, uh, we'll toss that. You want to toss it over to Coney? Okay, I'll read it one more time for you guys. Bryce Canyon National Park is known for having a large number of tall, spiky rock formations known by what rhyming name? Hoodoos. You nailed it, hoodoos. All right, Rock of Ages 30, back to Wells. Last question in this category. In geology, what term describes a rock that has been carried by a glacier and deposited hundreds of miles from its place of origin? Uh, we'll, we'll skip that. I'll skip it. It's erratic. Erratic is the uh, term. Okay, we're back to Coney for your second category. What will it be? Once Upon a Mattress. Once Upon a Mattress, please. Once Upon a Mattress. These are questions about fairy tales. Here we go. The great fame, uh, famine of 1315 to 1317 might have inspired the Brothers Grimm story about what brother and sister who were sent into the woods Hansel when their parents Grimm couldn't Hansel. afford to feed them. Hansel and Gretel. That is right. Once upon a mattress for 15. In most versions of Jack and the Beanstalk, what animal does Jack exchange for a handful of magic beans? Cow. Cow is also right. Once upon a mattress for 20. The Broadway musical Once Upon a Mattress is based on a Hans Christian Andersen story about a princess who can't sleep because what tiny edible thing was placed underneath her mattress? A pea. A pea is also right. Once upon a mattress for 25. In Carlo Coldi Collodi's original tale of Pinocchio, what kind of insect meets Pinocchio and tries to tell him how to behave? A cricket. A cricket is also right. And Once Upon a Mattress for 30, a poem by Robert Browning tells the story of what musician from a German folktale who leads all the rats away from the town of Hamelin? Pied Piper. Pied Piper. I think you guys swept it. Nice job. All right, Wells, your turn. Second category. Uh, uh, let's go... They're playing our song. They're playing our song. These are questions about songs from Broadway musicals. All right, here we go. The Schuyler Sisters is a song from what Tony Award-winning musical in which the title character marries Eliza Schuyler? 
Hamilton? Hamilton is right. They're playing our song for 15. Act one of the Broadway musical Wicked ends with what song in which Elf El Abba resists the force of nature that attracts a body to the center of the earth and flies above the stage? Defying gravity. Defying gravity? You nailed it, Defying gravity. They're playing our song 20. The song Seasons of Love from the musical Rent specifies that there are how many minutes in a 365 day year? No, 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 no. 525,600. 525,600. You got it. Well done, <laughs> Sam. Yes, you got him to stop. Perfect. They're playing our song 25. A well-known song from the musical Evita is a ballad sung by the title character Evita Perone telling the people of what country don't cry me, don't cry for me. Argentina. Argentina. Argentina is correct. They're playing our song 30, last one. In the musical Six, about the six wives of Henry VIII, a song called Don't Lose Your Head is a solo for which character, Anne who was Boleyn. Henry's second Anne wife? Anne Boleyn. Anne Boleyn is correct. Well done. Mostly Sam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That ends the category round, and we are at Wells 190, Coney 270. Everything can change in the lightning round, so sit tight. We'll be right back. How did you do with this week's question? It was, which American city is named for a main city as the result of a coin toss? Is it Presque Isle, Wisconsin, Rumford, Rhode Island, or Portland, Oregon? The answer is Portland, Oregon. In 1845, the two founders of the area each wanted to name the settlement after their respective hometowns. Francis Pettigrove of Portland, Maine, was victorious over Asa Lovejoy of Boston, Massachusetts, winning two out of three flips. The actual coin, now known as the Portland Penny, is on display at the Oregon Historical Society Museum. Welcome back. We're heading into the final 90 seconds of gameplay, the lightning round. Players, you do not have to wait for me to finish the question. You can buzz in at any time, but do not answer until I call your name. You get 20 points for each correct answer. Incorrect answers will cost you 20 points, and the other team does not get a chance to answer. The clock is set. Here we go. The street address of the White House is 1600 Watt Avenue in Washington, D.C. Go ahead, Sam Coney. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. What religious leader became head of Tibet's government in exile? Uh, Saber Coney. The Dalai Lama. Yes. The cochlea is in what organ of the human? Isaac Coney. Uh, brain. That is incorrect. Ear. In baseball, the cleanup hitter bats in what position in the batting order? Go ahead, William Wells. Three. Incorrect. Four. The Outer Banks are barrier islands off the coast of which U.S. state? Sam Wells. North Carolina. Yes. Who was the wife of Odysseus in the Odyssey? Ted Coney. Penelope. Penelope, yes. What U.S. president won a Pulitzer Prize for the book Profiles in Courage? Brady Wells. Kennedy. Yes, Kennedy. The, Ecuador, the equator passes through seven countries that are part of which continent? Go ahead, Sabre. South America. Incorrect, Africa. What rock band starred in the 1964 movie A Hard Day's Night? Go ahead, Grady Wells. The Beatles. The Beatles. In the U.S., ethanol is usually made from what food crop? Saber, Coney. Corn. Yes. We Are the Champions was a 19... William. Queen. Queen, yes. Which president chose Gerald Ford to be his vice? Sam Coney. Nixon. Nixon, yes. An octopus has how many heart? Saber, Coney. Eight. Answers three. That's the end of the lightning round. It was close, but Coney comes out at 310. They are the winner. They will move on to the semifinals. Our runner-up, Wells, 250 points. You guys did great. Going to miss you. Be sure to tune in next time for the semifinals. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on High School Quiz Show Maine. Production support for High School Quiz Show Maine is provided by Energy is about more than just keeping the lights on. It's about living life as parents, friends, and teammates. Unitil is proud to support High School Quiz Show Maine. Unitil, more than a utility, part of your community. Safety Insurance is committed to environmental sustainability 
and supports many local charities. You can ask an independent agent about auto, home, and business coverage from Safety Insurance. Safety Insurance will help you manage life's storms. And by viewers like you. Thank you.